guys, it's Minx here, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Max's Big Bust. Uh, this puzzle here, this investigation sequence, has proven to be really tricky, but uh, fortunately the devs have been on hand to help me solve the puzzle because I am actually an idiot. Um, so, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can uh, sort things out. So, what I need to do first of all is go to the boardwalk. And here we're going to talk to one of the people we didn't talk to in the previous video, which was my mistake. It's Brad. Oh, it's Brad. It looks like he's keeping an eye on Dale, but he seems kind of bored. Let's go say hi to him. He might have learned something. You can go, babe. I've been waiting here. Why do you hate each other so much? I don't trust that guy. Neither should you. It's just Brad. I'm just going to quickly say hi. I'll be back in a minute. Hi, Brad. Max. How's your steak out going? Boring and eventful. This heat's giving me a headache, but I bought this banana, almond, and honey smoothie that seems to be helping. Apparently, it's a cure for hangovers. I think I just might be able to load of horse shit the vendor was trying to sell me. See anything suspicious yet? Not yet. Dale's mostly keeping to himself. I haven't seen him make contact with anyone yet. You and that prick better move quick, though, because it's only a matter of time till he contacts his supplier. You and that prick better move quick. I like that. Well done, Brad. Has something happened between you and Ethan? No, and enjoy your little team up while it lasts, because it's not happening again, understood? You two seriously need to calm down. Jeez. I'll leave you to it, too, Brad. If you anything out, let me know. Okay. I didn't know that was meant... What the fuck? I thought we were going to do something else. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong there, so hopefully... I've got an idea about what I could do to fix this. So we'll go to the fucking shit-ass department. Back in this alley again. Uh, we're going to talk to... Um, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, search area. That's not what I want to do, damn it! I'm frustrated. We need to go inside the shit house. That's what I wanted to do. Right, so this chicken here, we need to get the code to her safe. So let's see if she'll fucking even talk to us. Right. Can you hear me? Is she saying thirsty? Does she want a drink? There we go. I've got a water bottle on me. Ew. So you don't want water? Smoothie. She wants a smoothie. Of course she does. Smoothie won't do any good, you know. They're full of calories. You really shouldn't drink them that often. Though I suppose that leads to your concerns here. Oh, the Fuck the fucking outfit as well. <laughs> you can buy smoothies on the boardwalk. It shouldn't take us too long to find a seven to drink. Don't go anywhere, Jasmine. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we go and talk to Brad and get his fucking smoothie. So she's got a hangover cure. That is the plan here. This will all be eventually solved, guys. Everything's going to be perfect. I'm sorry, flamboyant dancing guy. I'm going to have to leave you alone for a minute while I head back to the boardwalk. Stop reminding... Tell me to walk up the cat poo. I know there's cat poo there. I've stepped in it 17,000 times. So, um, I do know what I'm expecting. Okay? Wait right here, Ethan. I'm going to have a quick chat with Brad again. Solve the case yet? Nope. Just give me the fucking smoothie. We already had a discussion about this smoothie. No, it's not a placebo effect. I want the smoothie. Why can't I get the smoothie from him? Ah. Okay. I'm messing up here. Okay, guys. So, give me a second, and hopefully we'll get on top of this. Hang on. Okay, so we're going to try and make this smoothie... For, um, you know, for Jasmine. Okay? So Jasmine really likes the smell of lavender, and she won't drink any other smoothie. So we have to make the perfect smoothie for her, basically. But we have to copy Brad's smoothie, I think, up until a point. But then change one of the ingredients. And then we put lavender in as the last ingredient. And that hopefully should give us the code if we give the smoothie... Just fuck off. Fuck off, dude. I don't care. Right. Leave. Okay. So we've got the perfect smoothie now. 
that is definitely for uh, for Jasmine. Right, so, back to the alleyway. Dodging cat poo once again into the house. Right, now you're going to have your fucking smoothie and enjoy it, alright? If you don't like it, Jasmine, I'm afraid that I may just have to like blow up your safe or something with one of gun. Because it's the only thing I can think of. You know what I mean. Jasmine, I've got a lavender smoothie that should cure your hangover. Oh god, give it to me. Is it helping? Yeah, a little bit. Bloody hell, I really need to stop doing this shit. Oh crap, are you two cops? I'm not in trouble, am I? We're the police, but you're not in any trouble. We're going to seize your mink stash. We won't be facing any criminal charges. You're clearly only using minks for personal use. Fine, take it. There's a safe in the floor. I swear that's all I have. We found the safe. What's the combination? That's the wrong voice there for a minute. It's 80085. Okay. 80085? Seriously, that's the fucking combination? It spells boobs. I know. It's funny. I could have guessed that I used that as a password the unlock screen on my phone. See? It is funny. <laughs> Jasmine? I'm starting to feel better, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to lie down for a minute. I'm so tired. You don't even know. And in the safe there, there's also the, uh, the... Don't go to sleep on me. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm not sleeping. I'm just resting my eyes for a minute. Jasmine, wake up! What else is in the safe, Jasmine? I guess we'll find out. Tell me, I must know. You got what we needed out of her. Let's go to let her sleep. Honestly, a nice big sleep will do her good. Let's crack the safe open. I'm dying to see what's in there. If it's empty, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, what should we do? All right, eight zero zero eight five. Hazar, it worked. What she got in there? Two micro vials of purple minks, a cigarette lighter, and it's like a piece of paper. The bottom half is ruined by water damage, but I can just make out the top. This is interesting. It says, you know, we're really having odd weather today, huh? I know, right? I've been thinking about buying myself a jacket. That'll be the passcode she uses to buy drugs. Yeah, but only half of it. So this is a good progress. As far as we find the other half of this, we're set. And we know where to take it to Tombala's land as well. We'll find it, babe. Don't worry. I doubt there's much else for it here for us. We should probably get going. All right, what should we do? Okay, so the next part, we need to get a second code word, and we need to get set that by separating Jay and the fish girl on the street. The way to do that, apparently, according to the very nice dead message up here, is to drown multiple people at the beach at the same time. Okay. So this is going to be uh, very, very interesting. I think I can do this though. Okay, so there's several things we need to do to get multiple people to drown so the lifeguard is distracted and on call. Which actually makes sense as a puzzle. There's, there's lots of different, like, quite subtle clues in the dialogue that actually makes a lot of sense and it's, it's pretty clever. Um, right, talk to this flamboyant dancing guy. We're going to hire him for a job. Hate to do this, but need you flamboyant dancing guy. Do you think you can make a distraction for us? For the right price, I do absolutely anything, but I can't actually go anywhere with this fucking ankle monitor strapped to my leg. Hold still. I'm oh, just breaking the law. Don't shoot me! Oh, you shot the ankle monitor. The only need from my gun will fry circuits for the next hour or so. Thanks. Now, what do you need me to do? I'm going to need you to utilize your flamboyance to make a distraction for us. Sure, but I've got a flat rate of 100 bucks for a flamboyant distraction. So where do you want me to go? Hmm. Where should I send him? The beach. I need you to go to the beach and distract the lifeguard. Maybe you could pretend you're drowning? I can't swim. Perfect, then you won't have to pretend. Maybe if I pass out, that sexy fishy will give me mouth to mouth. The fishy parts of girls are my favorite. That was more information than I needed. Here's 50 bucks, go drown in the ocean. Right away, officer. Where are you getting this money from? I made a lot of money at car wash yesterday. Huh? Okay, so anyway. Next person we need to get to drown is the, uh the girl with the dolphins on the beach but to do that we're going to need to uh, give her something to eat first because basically if uh, if she eats and then immediately swims she'll start to drown that's that's the plan apparently apparently that's like true uh, let's order some food you sell food here don't you absolutely we have an extensive range of cookies available all of them custom made in our wood fire stove by yours truly our menu is on the left Extensive. There's only three different cookies here. I may be extraordinarily talented, but I'm only one man. The limit to how many cookies I can produce in one morning. Uh, let's go for a chocolate chip. I think chocolate chip sounds good. I hope this is the right kind. 
Good decision. I'll legally may inform you the chocolate chip we serve here doesn't come from cocoa beans and has no dairy products present in it at all. So where does the chocolate come from? Legally, I don't have to tell you. I regret buying this. No refunds. Hmm. Okay, let's leave. So now, we move location to the beach. Finally, you're here. Prepare to be dazzled. Good luck out there. Please, I don't need luck. I don't know if this is wrong. I think, like... I don't know. I'm not quite sure... Oh, it's quite a rip. Oh, fuck. This is the worst. Then I realised. Help! Finally, some action around here. Stop screaming. I'll be right there with a the jet ski. I made a terrible life decision. This wasn't worth the money at all. Ah! Well, that's the lifeguard distracted for a minute. Now what? We're back at the beach. Okay. We go talk to... Her? I'd be happy with spotting just the one dolphin, actually. Hmm. Offer food. Hey, Alyssa. Do you want some food? That depends. What have you got? Uh, I've got a chocolate chip cookie. No thanks. At the moment, I'm trying to get myself in a dolphin-like mindset, and I'm pretty sure chocolate is lethal dolphins. I'll pass. Are you sure? It smells really good and chocolatey. Ah, fuck. We need to get a different type of cookie. Damn it! it needs to be an octopus cookie, I'm guessing, because dolphins eat octopus. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Ah, fuck. I fucked up there. Okay. So I need to get the right kind of cookie. I need to keep hiring that guy, sending him down the beach, and I need the right kind of cookie. So let's... Hopefully we'll get this in motion. I'll jump, jump cut here, and then we'll hopefully get some fucking conclusion. Okay, she really wants the fucking, fucking squid fucking cookie. Don't do that. Dolphins eat squid all the time, so if I eat the cookie thing, I might be able to attune myself to my inner dolphin. Please don't throw it away. I really want to eat it. Well, if you're that sure... Wow, you can really taste the tentacles. Oh. That was actually pretty good. Thanks, Max. Don't mention it. Uh-oh, my stomach's feeling a little bit gurgly. Getting a stomach cramp? Maybe. I think I'm going to sit sail for a little bit. Probably a good call. Right, so... There we go. Point out dolphin. Look over there! It's a dolphin! Where? Just past the horizon. I definitely saw one. Move out of the way now! So she's going to go and drown herself. Oh, she's so happy. I feel kind of bad now. My stomach is cramping! You fool, you should have waited at least an hour of dreaming before you went swimming. Stay right there, I'll be with you. Uh-oh. Oh shit, it's super bad. I've got two people drowning now. Where's the megaphone? Alert, alert! We have a critical emergency. All available lifeguards at the beach now. This is not a drill. Things are really fucking bad. I'm here, I'm here! Move that fishy ass of yours, Abigail. We've got multiple drowning victims in the water. Oh no, I'm on it! Huzzah, that's both lifeguards distracted. I hope Alyssa and that dancing guy are okay. They're probably dead. Anyway, let's go and <laughs> now talk to the druggie. We've already got the watch, which is important. So we give the watch to the druggie guy, and he's like, Oh, shit, it's that time, and everything's going to be great. Okay, let's move quickly. We need to talk to fucking him. Jay! Oh shit. Afternoon officer, is there a, is there a problem here? Blue Minx. Wait, how do you know my name? Blue Minx. Uh, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Blue Minx. Heh. <laughs> Blue Minx. I think I know what you're getting at. You want information. Damn right I do, Blue Minx. Two conditions. Name them. This is the off the record. I don't want this to come back and bite me in the ass later on, understood? Deal. You haven't heard my second condition yet. Name it. I need help finding a gift for my date. Seriously, that's what you need help with? I'm new to all this. I don't know what I'm doing. Just get her something thoughtful. It's not hard. She just liked the fact she got her something. I want a gift or I'm not talking. These are my conditions. Hmm. I've got something I think you might be interested in. Oh? I right, look at that. It's designer, and it's purple. Girls love stuff like that. Okay, okay, this'll work. Blue Minx, start talking. Before we get started, I just want to say I don't do that shit. I never touch this stuff, okay? I don't care in the slightest. 
I'm not going to rat anyone out, but dealers around here use a series of code phrases to sell their product. They change the first part of it every few days after letting their regulars know, but the second part is always the same. And what's that? Just give me the fucking drugs, mate. It's the perfect code phrase because no one would think it's a code phrase. Interesting. You didn't hear about it from me, understood? Now get the hell out of here before my date comes back. Thought you're doing busy, thank you, Jay. Enjoy the wristwatch. Go, get out of here! How'd you go? I got the second part of the code phrase. Nice work, babe. I knew you could do it. Oh crap, I should have got the receipt for that wristwatch so I could get it reimbursed. Criminals don't get receipts, babe. What should I do? Uh, let's, uh, go and confront the Tombola stand guy. Talk to him. Ready for another spin? Damn right I am. You know, we're all having really old weather today, huh? Uh, I know, right? I've been thinking about buying myself a jacket. You know what they say, you just can't tell what's going on with the weather in Axon City. So what prize were you hoping to win in the Tombola? Just give me the fucking drugs, mate. I knew I could tell with a look in your eye. You're not the first cop I've sold drugs to and you won't be the last. It's 200 bucks today. Alright, here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. You'll find this product at the corner of Mossman and Faulkner in hedge two houses down from the bus stop. Thanks. If any more of your police friends want to buy anything, send them over. I don't discriminate here. A customer is a customer. What the fuck? Ah. Wait, why am I having another sexy dream? I'm in the middle of a drug bust. You really need to work on your sleep schedule if you're falling asleep on the job. Ah, why are you shirtless? Why are you in your lingerie and fantasizing about shirtless sexy men? Seems like you got some internal conflict on your own to work out, Max. I do not. Uh huh. It's been brought to my attention that due to issues with the visual novel engine we're using, there may be some errors when using all save games to continue forward in the story. It actually isn't my fault this time. What the fuck? Because of that, we're updating the continue menu on the title screen and added the chapter select function, so you can jump ahead to whichever content update you'd like and pick your favorite love interest too. If you're using an old save game, we strongly advise you to quit to the main menu and start using the What the fuck? Is this the end? Alright, that should do it. I'll leave you to your internal struggle then, Max. Have a nice afternoon. I'm not having an internal struggle. Come back to bed, babe. Not now, sexy dream, Ethan. Maybe I do have some issues I need to work out. What the fuck? Ugh. You okay, Max? Yeah, I must have dozed off for a second. You've been working too hard. So this is where the drug smuggling said the minks would be stashed, isn't it? I can already see it. It's under the hedge right there. Oh, here we go. It's another handbag. Why handbags are not like plastic container or something? It seems like a strange choice, doesn't it? Drug deals are strange. Damn right they are. Who the hell runs a tombola with a deep fryer as a free fat fryer as a prize? I mean, it's an awesome prize and everything, but it doesn't fit the theming of a fun fair at all. What was he thinking? Hey, doesn't something about this handbag look familiar? No. Where do I think I've seen it before, then? Maybe I saw it on TV or something? This is gonna bug me all day now. Or maybe it's from... Just open the bag, Max. Oh, it's blue, all right. Woo! Looks like we found us a player. Damn right we did. I'm calling Brad. It's time to bust this guy. Here we go. We're making progress here. So you found the minx? Yep, yeah, it's been sold to that redhead, redhead running the Tombola stand. He stashed them across town and he's sending people directions to where the minx is hidden. For some reason, he's using designer handbags that look really oddly familiar. Alright, Ethan, turn to fuck off. You found the minx bus, but it's time for the real police officers stepped in. You've got no authority here. Go do your thing. My work here is done. I'll see you later, babe. Count on it. Thanks, Ethan. I couldn't have done it without you. Aww. This isn't happening again. Why not? I mean, sure, he's in super flirty and sometimes he comes up a bit strong, but he's really handsome. He helped me solve the case. He's a good detective. Did you just say he was handsome? Uh. No, I didn't. One of these days, I'm gonna push that wanker into a volcano. That seems a bit excessive. It isn't for that bloke, trust me. Come on, let's go arrest this drug dealer. I'm really in the mood to shoot someone right now. Really in the mood to shoot someone right now. Hey, gay girl, you find the stuff? Yep. 
You want more, don't you? Well, don't worry, because I've got plenty more where that came from. Perfect. You're going to tell me where all your minx is, because you're under arrest for drug trafficking. Stay right where you are. You're not going anywhere today, mate. Oh, what? I'm under arrest? I thought you were a fun cop. Arresting people is fun. Not for me, it isn't. Here, I'll give you some deep fried. Just let me off with a warning, please. Oh. Do you reckon I could get that giant stuffed guinea pig, too? It looks so cute. Max. I mean, I'm with the Special Investigations Department. I don't accept bribes, even if it would really, really like to make my own potato scallops. The ones you get at the shop are always such a letdown, but I had my own deep fry. I could achieve the perfect balance of crispiness and texture. Max. Stop tempting me with your delicious deep fried goodness, Jake. Whatever your fucking name is, you're under arrest. Now get on the ground. Fine, fine. I heard you. Max, deep fryer's only like 30 bucks. Just buy yourself one. They're that cheap? Maybe I should just buy one. What the fuck? So is he a drug smuggler? Yeah, caught him red-handed. All right, mate. You're gonna. <laughs> all right, mate. What? All right. You're right. All right, mate. You're gonna. I can't do the voice anymore with mate. Mate, and the, that accent does not work. Are you gonna tell us what you're getting your blue minks from? No fucking way, pig. Go die in a pit. Good. I love it when they resist. I'll leave you to it, Captain Nekarai. Wait, what are you doing? I thought you were gonna question me. Well, we are. Don't worry about that. I don't even know what that. I don't even know what that voice is. That's just a mess. Is that a disco ball? Damn right it is. Oh! Uh, <laughs> how long do you think it'll be until he talks? He won't last five minutes. Stop! For the love of God, please stop! See? You might want to wait a few minutes before you go in there. No way, I'm going anywhere near that room until the music stops. Oh, the fucking disco music. Din, 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 din. Where are you getting the drugs from, mate? There's not going to be any more disco balls, right? Start talking, I'll see how I feel. I don't know where the drugs come from. I'm starting to feel the disco fever burning. No, 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 I'm telling the truth. I've dealt all sorts of shit before, but Minx is different. I've got absolutely no idea where it comes from, I swear. Then how did you get the drugs? They just show up out of thin air? Kinda. I'm getting Captain Nekarai. No, 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 no. About six months ago, I went to one of my pickup points, and there was this massive stack of handbags, and I was like, what the fuck is this? I was supposed to be picking up cocaine, but now there's a bunch of fucking handbags, and my dealer had no idea what was up either. What was in the bags? Minx, the original purple stuff, of course. We had no idea what it was back then, so I figured it was just some new way of taking E, or some fancy designer shit for glue sniffers. But once me and the boys tried a bit, we realized what we had here. This was something else. So you're saying you were responsible for distributing Minx to Axon City? What? No, everyone was doing it. We all got the stuff. I was the only one who got the handbags. Most of the guys had them in crates, but it was the same shit. Minx for fucking everybody. So the Minx comes from multiple sources? That complicates things. I don't fucking know. I just did what the note said. Note? Yeah, the Minx came with a set of instructions in one of the bags. In exchange for 20% of our earnings, they deliver a new shipment of Minx to us every month. We didn't know who they were, and they didn't know who we are. It was just easy money. So what, you just blindly followed instructions you found in some random bag, and you didn't question where it came from at all? Why would I? It's easy money, and everyone else was getting in on it. I had to make my move and carve my own slice of the market before everyone else did. Who the hell would sign up for something like that? So once a month, I place 20% of my earnings in a bag and dump it at a drop-off point. The next morning, there's always a fresh set of minks waiting for me, all wrapped up in those nice little handbags. Tell me about the blue minks. Oh, that new potent stuff? I sh that's right there is my speciality. I'm the only dealer in town with it. It showed up in the bags in the last drop-off, and I sure as hell hope I get more in the next drop-off. That shit is fucking magical. You're not going to be getting anything in your next drop-off because you're going to jail. Fuck. I'm in a lot of trouble, aren't I? Damn right you are. When was your next drop-off scheduled for? I'm not saying. I can get the captain again. We've got multiple disco balls in the storage room. The drop-off was scheduled for next Tuesday. I drop it off at midnight around the back of the storage unit place at the jetty. I can give you the address. Good, because we're going to go intercept that shipment. This whole little drug ring of gauze is going down. Yeah, good luck. I've even stayed at the place myself and I've never seen anyone come or go. It's like the drugs get there by magic or some shit. Thanks for your cooperation, Jake. Best of luck in the criminal justice system. Hey, don't I get a phone call? I guess not. Bloody hell, Max. We busted the whole case open. Damn right we did. If this keeps up, we might actually be able to get rid of Minx completely. Well, at least the blue stuff. I'm just pleased to finally be making progress. We've been flying around in the dark for too long, and that's before this whole being turned into a girl nonsense. So what's the plan? Set up a sting operation and accept the fire next Tuesday? 
Yep, we'll bring in the whole squad. There's no getting away from us this time. Hey, you never know, we might find a cure that turns me back into a guy there too. Oh, so soon? I was starting to enjoy having a female partner. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Come on, buddy, let's get started on our paperwork. We've got to apply for equipment for the drug bust and document our entire investigation process from today. We're going to get all the clear from the higher-ups. Oh, man, I'm not going to have to write up all those smoothie combinations I tried, am I? This will take forever. I don't know why I keep trying to mix stuff with octopus. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Let's get this over with. Whoa, home time! Damn, Max, you've still got heaps of pages left. Why is your paperwork taking so long? These bastards ruined my life by turning me into a chick, so I'm not taking any chances. I'm bringing in the big guns. The big guns? Let me have a look at that. The army's not going to loan you a tank, Max. They might, if I ask nicely. It's a war on drugs we're fighting, so we need equipment that's ready for war. No half-assing it. I'm also trying to get a helicopter. Okay. Now that one actually isn't unre... You also want to air to surface missiles on said helicopter? Duh! Attack helicopters are the best! I'd actually prefer this over the tank. No one's going to try and flee the scene when we've got an attack helicopter pointed at them. Oh, is that rain? Yeah, it turned over class about an hour ago. Watch yourself on the drive home. It's been dry for a while, so the road's bound to be slippery. See you tomorrow, Brad. Later, buddy. Hey there, you home? I'm just in the bathroom, give me a second. Hey, where are my picklets? What the fuck are picklets? Oh, sorry, I ate them. You promised me you wouldn't eat them. I got hungry, it's my fault if there's no food in your house. All of my salami has gone to, I was gonna make sandwiches for dinner with that. I also ate all your bread. Did you at least find another job yet? I haven't had time to go job hunting, I've been too busy. Yeah, too busy eating all my food. Where are we supposed to eat for dinner now? And screw it, let's go out for the evening. We can go eat dinner with that busty red hair we met the other night. She was really into me. You never know if things go well. I might be able to have her for dessert later tonight. Jesus Christ. That's not going to happen. Uh-huh. Sure it won't. Maybe I should keep you separated. Knowing you, you just make work super awkward. Going out for dinner is a probably good idea, though. And inventing, inviting someone from work might be fun. Maybe I should give someone a call. If you don't want me to sleep with your busty friend, then call Brad instead. I haven't seen him in ages. I can't call Brad, he's in America on a business trip. Sure he is. Hmm, who should I call? I think we should call Ember anyway. Ember? Are you okay? Sorry, sorry, I dropped my phone in the water, but I think it's okay. That was my fault, I probably shouldn't be using my phone in the bath. So you're in the bath right now? Yep, completely naked and lathered with soap. Wanna join me? Are you kidding? What do you think? You're kidding. I get it. Never mind. Me and my sister are thinking of heading out for dinner. Want to come with us? Sure. Sounds like fun. Just give me a second to rinse off and throw some clothes on. I'll meet you at the place in a minute. See you soon, Amber. How the fuck does she know where we're going? Heather, you're going to need to put some pants on too. Amber will be here in like 10 minutes. Oh, our place. Where do we eat pants? We're going to hook up at the end of the night. I might as well make things easier for her. There will be no more hooking up with my friends, understood? Uh, understood. Good. Now put some pants on! There's no need to threaten me, jeez! Max? Hey, Amber. Well, wow, if it isn't my favourite busty redhead. Ready to spend the evening going to town on each other? Five seconds, Heather. It's been five seconds since Amber got here and you're already throwing yourself at her. Well, who can blame me? Just look at her. She's hard as it gets. Thanks. You're not bad yourself. That does it. I'm bringing my stun gun with me. Where are we going for dinner anyway? Did you pick anywhere yet, Max? Uh, not yet. Any thoughts, Amber? I'm fine with whatever. Want to just wander around downtown and see what's open? Sure, I'm down with that. What are your thoughts, Heather? Personally, I'd much rather stay here and spend the evening getting to know each other in every inch of your body intimately. But walking around downtown works too. Damn, Heather, you really are full on. You don't know the half of it. Jesus Christ. Looks like I'm bringing the stun gun! Okay, it's absolutely miserable out here. Nothing is open, it's freezing cold, and the awnings are leaking. It was meant to be a farmer's market style thing out here, but I guess everyone gave up because it's so wet and awful. This is pretty awful, and normally I love being wet. Just stop talking, Heather. Please. Something around here has got to be open, surely. Wait. I smell something. That smell, I'd know it anywhere. It's sweet, delicious onion rings. Come on, follow me. So, Amber, are you single? Nope. 
We both know it doesn't matter though, don't we? The phone booth over there looks nice and dry, and there's no one around here. Sorry, but you're not really my type. What? Now come on, we need to catch up to Max. Da, get back here! We're both hypersexualized hardies with massive racks. We are each other's type. I'm not done here. Oh my god. Look, the trains are running, which means all the shops are open too. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting there's shops down here. Great, a bakery and a train tunnel. It's not just a bakery, there's a Chinese restaurant and a sushi place and one of those weird American corn dog stands. Everything is here. Yeah, everything that'll give you a heart attack and kill you. Luckily, Max and I don't have to worry about that anymore. I've been trying all sorts of ridiculously unhealthy food this week. Did you know you can deep fry pretty much anything? Even weird stuff like chocolate? I know, right? It's the best. I did that at home myself if a certain Tom Butler game wasn't horrendously rigged. I'm not sure I should eat a corn dog, but I kind of want to try one. Let's try one anyway. We'll reset at the end of the evening, so let's go nuts. Seriously? Eating corn dogs? That's what you two want to do for fun all evening? Yep. Why not? It's fun. Fuck this, I'm going home. Later, losers. Later, Heather. Wait, what? Why did she leave? She asked me out five minutes ago and I said no. I don't think she's used to rejection. You said no to Heather? Holy crap, you're like the first person to reject her ever in the history of all time. Don't get me wrong, I love blondes. I just got my eyes dead set on someone else right now. It's you, Max, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, who's that? It's you, Max, you fucking idiot. Jeez, Max, who'd you think? Uh, Holly? No. Victoria, then. She's not even blonde! Let's just buy a corn dog already. Oh, I want to try that weird yellow mustard they use. These are fucking disgusting. Why wouldn't you eat these? They're the worst thing ever made! Fuck it. Want to get dim sums from a Chinese place instead? Damn right I do. So how long is your sister in town for? I've got no idea, but she's out of work, so now I'm being a good brother and letting her stay with me. Sister. Whatever. I just feel bad kicking her out, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Guess what her job is. I dare you. Prostitute. No, you're close, though. Us? I don't know if that's rude of me to say that or not. <laughs> stripper. Yep. Wait, seriously? She's actually a stripper? You're messing with me, right? She calls herself an exotic dancer, but she's fooling no one. She's a stripper. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's insane. Have you ever seen her perform? What? No, of course not! Back in the academy, a bunch of my friends went to one of her shows and recorded the whole thing. For months, I'd log into my computer and see my sister's butt as my wallpaper. People in the academy were dicks. Yep, except now I'm a detective and they're a bunch of losers, so they can go eat shit. Although I suppose I'm also cursed to be a woman for all eternity, so they probably just make fun of me for that. Don't worry about it, girl. You're a cute anyway. Screw those guys at the academy. What about you? How have people been reacting to finding out you've been transformed? Pretty much everyone thought it was cool. Mum freaked out for a while because she didn't recognise me and refused to believe I was Amber. But you calmed down after a few hours. Would you change back if you could? Nope. You? I probably still would at this point, but I'm getting used to it pretty quickly. Maybe I'll even enjoy being a girl someday. Don't worry about it, and just enjoy the ride. That's what I'd do. Oh, it's getting pretty late. I should probably head back and check on Heather. I might give you a call tomorrow if you're free. We should do something together again. Sure, that sounds good to me. There you go. Friends link improved. Alright, see you tomorrow, Max. Bye, Amber. See, they're gonna, I'm gonna pair them together. I said goodbye to Amber and made my way back to my apartment. Heather, you can't just flirt and try and sleep with every person you meet. It's not appropriate or even remotely politically correct. You need to turn it down. I'm not flirting with people to be politically correct. I just love fucking. Yeah, but... It's not bad as far as hobbies go. I get to meet new people, there's lots of strenuous physical activity involved, so I'm keeping my fitness up, and sex has proven to be good for your mental health. You should hook up with someone soon, Max. Give the new female body of yours a test drive. No thanks. You might have been born male, Max, but right now you're a new girl like me. It's only a matter of time until you wind up like me. You'll be hooking up with randoms left, right, and center before you know it. That will never, ever happen. I will never wind up like you. You say that now. Let's just watch some TV instead. Chuck an erotic film on. No. There's nothing much on TV tonight, huh? Nope, it's just a load of garbage right now. 
Why are there so many nature documentaries on right now? Nobody watches these anymore. You look up cute animal videos on the internet. That's much more fun. Hey, Max, what's up with your hair? It's floating. Huh? Oh, now you mention it. It's the ends that are sort of moving around a bit. Maybe it's static electricity from the storm? I'm here too, though. Why is my hair getting all floaty at the ends? If yours does that, then mine should be as well, considering we're sisters. Yeah, but I have magic hair. It's different. Magic hair? I told you before, remember? The cursed marble I touched that turned me into a girl also gave me stupid magic powers that don't do anything, like hair that grows back every few hours. I'm also immune to stun guns, which probably come in handy if I ever want to become an electrician. Wasn't that all just an elaborate cover story you made up because you wanted a sex change? No, it totally wasn't! I do have magical powers and I never want to get a sex change. Just tell me how you're making your hair float like that, Max. It's freaking me out. You don't believe me about the magic marble, do you? Not in the slightest. Don't get me wrong, Max. I'm happy you turned yourself into a chick, and who could blame you, honestly? You spent your whole life growing up with me, for God's sake. All through high school, you watched me win over guys and be one of the most popular girls in school, while all you did was sit bored in the library playing chess with your nerdy friends. I only sat there because there was an air conditioner, and the library teacher let me eat food and play games on the computers all through lunch. I wasn't playing chess. I'm not worried, Max. Who cares if you're jealous of the attention? Nothing wrong with taking a spin on the transformation lottery and hoping you wind up with a blonde bombshell like your sister. And thank my genetics for that awesome rack of yours too, Max. You're welcome. You are wrong on so many levels, and that's not how genetics work. Just a minute, Max. I'm happy having a little sister, really. You don't need to keep lying to me. Hey, what are you doing with those scissors? Ha! Huh. No, you look so cute with long hair. It's gonna take forever to grow back on its own, and hair growth transformation serums are like 400 bucks. Are you insane? Calm down. It'll grow back soon, trust me. Uh, what the fucking fuck? That was quicker than usual. What just happened? I told you, I have magic powers because I'm cursed or something. The only reason I'm stuck as a woman, otherwise I'd change back by now. So your hair grows back on its own? Yeah, my body does a complete reset every few hours or so. I can eat whatever I want and not get any weight, but I'm stopped looking like this. You can eat whatever you want? Yeah, the other day I ate five pizzas, didn't even put on a kilo. Same weight. You fucking bitch! It's not like I asked for this. As soon as I can find a way to change back, I will. Do brain transfer devices exist yet? Can we trade bodies? I don't think it works like that. Do you know how difficult it is to maintain this physique? I have an intense training regime consisting of high-protein, loop-carb diet, and a ton of strange and bizarre sex activities I had to perform constantly, and even then I struggle with my waistline sometimes. Seriously, if they invent something that we can definitely trade bodies, I don't care if, if you turn my old body into a dude. You wouldn't be the first person that had their way with my body, that's for damn sure. <laughs> oh. You got machines that turn people into mermaids, for God's sake. There's gotta be something that can swap our brains. Maybe we could pay a surgeon in Ali somewhere to do it for us. I don't really think I like this plan, Heather. You can't deny it to fix your problem. No brain surgery. Fine. Have you thought of selling your hair? You could make a fortune running a wig company. Now nah, look at that pile of hair on the ground right there. It's already breaking down to this weird glittery stuff. It does it to keep its form for long. It doesn't keep its form for long. What the hell? It's so weird. Seriously, Max, what the hell is wrong with you? I've got no idea. I know it's kind of early, but I'm going to head to bed. I'll see you tomorrow, Heather. Night, sis. If you need me, I'll be out here doing research on brain surgery. No brain surgery. End of discussion. Fine. Maybe there's some sort of body swapping chamber or something. I bet some nut jobs built one by now. Go to bed, Heather. Can't believe I hit a dead end with my research. I swear I was onto something. It's gonna be something I'm doing wrong. Something I'm missing. I just don't know what it is. I need another drink. Oh my god, this is creepy as fuck. She's like the most terrifying character model in the fucking game. Hello there, gorgeous. Can I buy you a drink? Sure you can, Evelyn. Well, she's fucked. Victoria is literally dead. <laughs> Morning, Max. How'd you let my research into body swapping go? Find anything promising? Nah, not really. There's a transformation chamber they use for marriage counseling that swaps bodies with you and your partner, but it actually just scans your DNA, then uses the transformation gas to turn you into the other person. If we use that, I just turn into a clone of you, and then your body would reset back to what it was before after a few hours. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with how you look, but if your body's substantial downgrade for me, it's only worth it because of those magic powers of yours. Gee, thanks, Heather. Don't get me wrong, you look hard and everything, but the difference between us is night and day. 
Hurry up and find a job so you can get out of my house. Don't worry, I'm working on it. If you're at home all day, can you move the washing over for me at least? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thanks, Heather. She's such a fucking useless bitch. Anyway, we're gonna end this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Max's Big Bust. If you did, hit that like button and let me know what you think of the series so far. And there'll be more to come really soon. Uh, have a great day. Bye!